Here we are at the Greyhound Racing Kennels in Longwood, Florida. There's AJ. For those who don't know, uh, Greyhound Racing um, was put on the ballot and the Florida voters voted it out. Animal rights groups lied about Greyhound Racing and the Humane Society of the United States spent three and a half million dollars running propaganda ads all over Florida and the voters were duped into getting rid of it. But the Greyhound people are suing because it's unconstitutional what they did. I spent a whole year defending Greyhound Racing, going behind the scenes and showing everybody all the different tracks and kennels across the state. I think I did a lot to help the Greyhound people. They didn't win. The only thing I was missing was three and a half million dollars that I could have used to throw ads on the TV. I, yeah, there's no bigger scumbag liar on the planet than animal rights groups, Humane Society, uh, PETA, ASPCA, they're all lying scumbags. And they're all the same. Biggest ripoff ever. The Humane Society uh, last year raised $168 million and they gave less than 1% to any animal shelters, they kept the rest of it. Their biggest expense, pay, donating to a political campaign so that they write laws against pet ownership. Hi, babies. <laughs> uh oh, I'm gonna have to go in there. Making dinner? Yeah. Mmm, ground beef. These dogs aren't vegetarians. Look, they get vitamins. I'm coming in. So watch out, guys, girls. All right, this is gonna get crazy because they all are gonna want me to pet them all at the same time. <laughs> okay, move, 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 move. Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting mauled. Careful. Be nice. Oh, oh my god. What are you doing? Hi, babies. See, if AJ or Kathy came out here, they wouldn't do this, but they don't really know me, so they're all excited. Oh, you got some sharp, sharp claws. Who clawed me? Who clawed me? I see you. You see him getting into these little tussles? Stop it. Stop it. Hey, hey. No. That's why they wear muzzles. Come on. doesn't have a muzzle and he's the one that took off with my GoPro. Where's your muzzle? That was completely uncool. Not a good Greyhound. They, these make the best pets, these Greyhounds. They're awesome. Hi there. I'm being swarmed. <laughs> Hi. Oh God. <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah, so I probably made a, at least a hundred videos behind the scenes talking about greyhounds. I covered every aspect of the animal rights lies, debunked all of them, showed you guys firsthand 
what goes on back here. Yeah, these dogs aren't abused. They're actually the, the best cared for dogs that are around. No doubt about it. You'll never find a greyhound at an animal shelter. Some of my greyhound videos, uh, I have a bunch of them on uh, Greyhound Chronicles on Facebook. Um, I might have 20 or 30 videos there, but I think I've made a total of 100 or more videos. You'd have to dig to find them on Paint the Trail <coughs> Facebook page. What are you doing back there? See how they've all kind of calmed down? Half of them are laying down. These are some lazy dogs. They're the fastest dogs, but they're the laziest dogs. The favorite thing for a greyhound to do is eat and sleep and chase the fake rabbit. Oh, that'll be nice. See, that's why they wear muzzles. Because if they weren't wearing muzzles, they'd nip at each other and their skin is very thin. Look. See how thin that skin is? It's thinner than a person's skin. Look at that. Very thin skin and it cuts real easy. They wear these muzzles for their own protection. Because when they're in a big group like this, it's the dog pack mentality. Get it? Yeah, so Greyhound Racing got voted out, but now it's going to be settled in the courts. And we'll see what happens. They don't know. But what I do know is greyhounds aren't abused, and these animal rights groups lied through their teeth. What they do is they lie about what goes on here, and they try to make people feel sorry for these dogs. And uh, they rake in hundreds of millions of dollars a year. It's the biggest scam ever perpetrated on the public. I think anytime you have, um, you can pull on people's heartstrings and you can make uh, people feel sad about something like people that are groups that are trying to help say that they're helping people or animals man a lot of times you'll you'll if you look you'll find fraud and then you'll find people that are making money hand over fist and to me that's the most disgusting thing in the world man never donate to the humane society of the united states aspca uh, you know, PETA and all those organizations. Man, and most of these animal rescue groups, frauds, but at a much lower level. But man, they are making money off of you people. Yeah, the muzzles don't bother the dogs. They just bother people for some reason. They drink water through it. They can breathe just fine in it. They've been wearing these muzzles since they were puppies. They're used to it. And again, it's for their own safety. These animal rights groups, they're chipping away and getting rid of everything. They're coming after your pets next. Everything's under attack. Everything. Horse racing, greyhound racing, hunting, you name it. Yeah, anyone that spouts greyhounds are abused. They're either completely ignorant and they're just vomiting up the lies that they've heard. Or, or that person is making money off of you guys claiming that these dogs are abused <laughs> absolutely not man i've been hanging around greyhounds for like two years now i've never had a greyhound growl at me <laughs> they're all such good dogs so friendly and all these dogs are so muscular look at that Look at the muscles on this dog. You don't get that way by sitting in your crate all day. Do you, baby? They go in there willingly. It's their home. It's where they feel safe. It's their house. They're den animals, you know what I mean? Greyhounds don't shed. You shed like crazy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so Kathy's telling me that this brown dog here is a, what they call a spook. 
which means they're very nervous and skittish of everybody. Most of these greyhounds will come right up to me, but this dog, being a spook or whatever, is uh, meaning they're spooked by everything. It's just their personality, you know what I mean? Very shy. There she goes, she's running in there. <laughs> she doesn't know me, so she's nervous. Um, Cause I'm out here, she's not used to me. All right, guys. So we got a fresh bunch of dogs out here and they're all jumping around. No, that's why you wear muzzles. So I think this one is the spook right here. Hi, baby, hi, hi. <laughs> Look, she won't come up to me. So when one of these anti-racing um, adoption groups gets a hold of a dog like this, they parade it around like it's been abused. It's just shy. You can't find an abused greyhound out there. Bet you a thousand dollars. Who wants to take that bet? Come here, baby. What's the matter? So she that's the only dog that won't come up to me. Hi. <laughs> They all get vitamins and that stuff, right? Yeah, that stuff's all mixed into the tea. Greyhounds eat bananas. They love bananas. They do? And pineapples. That's so crazy. Depending on the dog, they also love hash browns. Hash browns, I'm sure. They love uh, McDonald's hamburgers, too, I'll bet. <laughs> So you weigh every one of them, huh? Yep. Give them exactly the right amount of food. Yeah, they all weigh every one of them. Same thing. I mean, people could probably take that. Just download the credit card.